Red line, stun right away with your inside chop. Stun, stun. Here come my verticals. Get him moving backwards. We got him moving backwards. He's going to be off balance. It's going to be difficult for him to attack us effectively. We want to get him moving backwards because at that point we have the advantage. So while we're here engaging with all the other tools that we have, at some point in time, it's a boom, boom. We're going to get that opportunity to start our verticals coming straight at his face. Boom, 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 boom. Follow him. Follow him with nothing but straight verticals to the face. As he's moving back, you're going to lash on, and for an instant, we're going to switch gears to the three most potent weapons that we have in an effort to end this fight. We're going to lash on after our flurry that got him moving back. Okay? We're going to lash on and meet him with that. Simple. Bang. Okay? Not doing any complicated Muay Thai grip or nothing. I had him moving back with powerful and not necessarily pretty verticals. And then I lashed on, boom, and attacked here with a headbutt. <clears throat> That's going to be a stunner. Okay? The next thing I do after that initial headbutt is I do not let go. Notice what I got. Here's the angle on this side. Notice that control. I'm not going to let go. Okay? <clears throat> I'm going to do it from this side now that you saw. What's the next weapons and the flurry that I'm going to use from now on? Simple. Elbows and knees. Elbows. Is there a headbutt there? Bang. Well then, you're going to get it. Boom. Boom. Simple. Until they either break away or gel right here. In other words, by gel I mean they don't really have any fight left because you're assault of these fundamentally simple weapons in endless combination headbutt elbows while I have control I may switch I don't I like to just hold on simple enough to go here here, 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 if it's there again, those three weapons until the fight ends or they break away. If they break away, the fight is on again. Here comes my long range. I'm using these tools as I practiced. Long range. Oh, we're in close. What do I have? What else do I have? I've got the inside line. I stun one of these. This may cause the stun. The vertical may cause the stun. Whatever. I follow through with the stun. How do I follow through? I focus on the computer system. Verticals. Mm, 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 mm. Notice I'm not getting real fancy. I'm just throwing powerful verticals and getting him to move back. Okay? I'm not one for the machine gun effect of the proper Wing Chun. I'm more for the street effect of three or four good verticals to get him moving back.
Take the advantage of getting in a move back. Say the big hello. Bang. And in once again to our routine of these simple weapons to end the fight or until he breaks away. What do I do if he breaks away? Back to the same game. I will defend myself with every tool I have until I have the opportunity to get you moving back again. That would be a fistful of teeth. <clears throat> until I can lash on, inch to that, inch, and get to that, and use these the most powerful weapons to end the fight. That's the strategy that we use to end the fight. We're not here to give you a kickboxing lesson. That's not what we do. We're here to end the fight. And the strategy is simple. I use my tools until I have the opportunity from a stun or a good strike that buckles the knees to follow through either to immediately lash on and start that process elbows, headbutts, knees and any endless combination or the stun that leads to the further goals getting him moving backwards because while those punches may not knock him out they're basically designed to get him going backwards so that I can lash on and start using the tools that are designed to end the fight.